Hello, Geminis. Uh, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. I greatly, greatly appreciate you. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I hope that you find what it is that you are searching for here. Um, I am doing a general uh, reading today, and uh, it as a general reading, it may not resonate with all of you, so please take what does resonate and leave the rest for somebody else. If you wish to contact me about personal readings or things of that nature, uh, information to do so is in the description box below. Geminis, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Heavenly Father, Spirit Guides, and Angels, show me clearly most high message for Geminis. Most high message for Gemini. Show me clearly what do my Geminis need to hear? Things a little chaotic for you guys, too, huh? Aquarius as well. Show me clearly, Geminis. Gemini, show me clearly. Most high message. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the giraffe. Okay? Uh, it's visionary. Rise above earthly matters. Glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. What came out for you is the dolphin. Okay, a very playful energy here. Um, swim in the happy joy of living. Inhale confidence and exhale fear. They're telling me also to add, just breathe, Geminis, just breathe. Dive into your wisdom and go with the flow. Inhale the confidence. Exhale the fear. I'm really getting somebody must need to hear that. Okay. Heavenly Father, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, show me clearly. Most high message for Geminis, please. Most high message for Geminis. What is it that Geminis need to hear today? What is their food for thought? Geminis, show me clearly. I'm getting a lot of stress, a lot of worry, okay? Remember to keep life fun, okay? Get out and play if you can. All right. Uh, we have Archangel Raphael, provider of healing for mind, body, and spirit. Okay? Maybe uh, some of you need to call on Raphael for some extra help here. We have the owl. Follow your intuition. You know things, Gemini. You know things. You know what's best for you. It's time to trust your gut. Okay? Some of you, I, I get, are, are moving away from things. You're transforming. This card is surrounded by butterflies. Okay? Transformation. Uh, enlightenment. Pursue spiritual growth. You are very intuitive. Again, you know things. Okay? Okay? Uh, find some uh, chakra balance here. Um, going with the flow. Again, the dolphin energy. Okay? Go with the flow. Let things happen. You don't have to control everything. And not necessarily control it, but you don't have to uh, worry about it. Okay? If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Okay? Heavenly Father, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, show me clearly. Most high message for Geminis, please. Most high message for Geminis. Gemini. 
Gemini's. Show me clearly. <clears throat> Okay, thank you, Spirit. At the bottom of the deck, we have trapped in fear. Okay, very caught up in your head, looking at the past, looking at all this depressive state around you, when all you have to do is put your hand down, lift your head up, and look at the sunshine right here for you. Okay, it's very near for you. We have rest and rejuvenate. Yes, a time of healing, a, a time of becoming in touch with yourself and um you know finding out this what it is that you need for yourself to be able to successfully move forward okay you're feeling very conflicted very defeated it's a very difficult time again stuck looking in the past some of you looking at this last little bit of passion that you have left as you just barely make it exhaustedly down the stairway for that little bit of hope okay but there's so much sunshine so much energy in that to refuel you right here behind you but you're focused on the past here let's see heavenly father spirit guides and angels show me clearly most high message for Gemini's what is it that Gemini's need to hear show me clearly Gemini's my twins all right show me clearly all right at the bottom of the deck, we have the angels of four directions, okay? And uh, so again, this is your Archangel Raphael, okay? He's here. Uh, Archangel Uriel is here. Uh, they're very much supporting you. Um, uh, call on them, actually. You know, call on them for some creative wisdom, some, some insight to things, passion, love. We have the honoring path, okay? Some of you could be thinking and considering of doing something that goes, uh, that, that is dishonorable, okay? Take that how that resonates. Everybody's got an individual idea of that, okay? You know, maybe uh, some of you might be thinking of, you know, kind of cutting somebody down to get ahead, okay locking the actress that's supposed to be on stage in the dressing room so that you can gracefully go across the stage as the true winner okay so you could get ahead all right so choose the honoring path all right discovery getting out in nature spending some time with with nature and and discovering what it is that really sparks your soul okay some of you might also just discover gold <laughs> and some of you and if you do you know paypal account there yeah you know, just kidding <laughs> all right travel travel is in the future for some of you some of you could be permanently relocating and some of you could just be getting in the car and going for a drive okay but there's something ahead for you and then we have a loss okay some of you feel as though it's too late you might have missed the boat okay you feel as though your ships are not coming in all right you missed out on something that something got away from you that was meant to be yours and the thing with that is is that it is not uh, you know, and it's an event. Some of you could have missed an event recently, okay? But if it's meant to be, it will come back, okay? The tides will bring that ship right back to you if it is yours to have, okay? That's the thing with the universe. If it's ours it's and it's meant to be, it never gets away. It comes back in its own way. Heavenly Father, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, show me clearly. 
most high message for Gemini. And I get that this is a material loss too. It's uh, it's not uh, a life loss thing. This is a material type deal. You feel you may be missed. You know, you lost out on. It just popped in my head. Some of you could have had your car stolen. Okay? It's going to come back. It may not be in the condition you want it to, but in time. All right? It's that type of an energy attached to it. Show me Gemini, please. Thank you. All right, the bottom of the deck, we have sadness. It's a difficult time for a lot of my Geminis. Okay? We have sadness and we have healing, okay? Uh, tears are a good thing. Crying is a good thing. Uh, you know, being sad is, is, is a good thing in itself too because it makes us aware of things that we don't like, things that we want to change, okay? Uh, or that need improvement to keep us on our, our right path here. We have the healing card, and, and if you've done my readings before you know with this deck, I like to go straight from the book. The messages are very, very, very profound, okay? If you are experiencing stress, feel overwhelmed, are suffering ailments in your body, or feel exhausted and depressed, it means that your body is trying to communicate with you. Your body wants you to start treating it in a more loving manner and listening to the messages it is sending you. You need to become conscious of the areas in your life that you are avoiding or suppressing. Healing takes time. It is a process. Your first step towards healing is to create a safe, loving, supportive environment where you can listen to your inner wisdom. Okay, and they want me to add there that the only caution with that is that you don't get stuck and de become dependent on that pity. Okay, uh, you make sure it's a healthy environment as far as the safe part goes where you can open up and express yourself amongst people who want to see you succeed. Okay, we have sadness. When you can truly allow yourself to cry and feel sorrow over the loss of a loved one, a lost opportunity, a broken heart, or a friendship that's ended, you cleanse your soul and allow your heart to heal. Crying and feeling vulnerable can be a sign of strength, which demonstrates your connection to your body. To admit weakness can allow you to know yourself, embrace your limitations, and evolve. Be willing to let go of the cold walls of protection that you have created, which can make you feel empty and sick. You don't need to get lost in your emotions. Just give yourself time to feel them. Let them move through your whole being, cleansing and purifying your heart, body, and soul. All right. <clears throat> definitely feeling the heaviness here. Gemini's. Oh. Gemini's my Gemini's. Heavenly Father, Spirit Guides and Angels, show me clearly. Most high message for Gemini's. Recent past, current, and near future energies for Gemini's. Please. Recent past, current, and near future messages and energies for Gemini's. Show me clearly. At the bottom of the deck, we have temperance, divine timing, okay? We don't like to hear that. We want to have these things now, but, um, or these situations to change now, get out of this feeling now, but it takes time. And you have to do work 
to get there. It's not uh, just a little walk in the park, poof, I want to be better, it's done. Okay, wash my hands. It's not like that. And Geminis, you know that better than anybody. Okay, the overall energy here is the King of Pentacles. Okay, the King of Pentacles is a professional, a, a working man, maybe a banker or something like that. Somebody is very good with money, very good uh, at offering long-term security. Okay, uh, they are very loving, very nurturing and that, but they have a mostly a focal point around money or work. Okay. <clears throat> In the uh, recent past, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Five of Swords. So uh, somebody's withholding here. Uh, they could be withholding financially. They could be just guarding, withholding, sharing themselves, opening themselves up. Okay. Uh, somebody is feeling... Uh, the need to defend themselves, but it's it's like they they're so tired though um, of doing so, defending their passions and what they want in life that um, they're they're kind of at the end. But you do still have the stamina to do this. Okay, this is not a uh, not become a complete burden yet, but yet you are close to the end of a cycle of this burdened feeling here. We have the five of swords going through some mental conflict with yourself. Also could be that somebody's pissed you off. Okay, in the recent past here, somebody could be very angry. I'm getting that energy as well. In the current situation or the current energies, we have uh, the shadow side, the fool and the knight of wands. So uh, there's things from the past that need to be healed, things from childhood possibly, but it's giving control to somebody else uh, over, your, you know, over your emotions. So say for instance, you're at a party, you're having a good time and here walks in somebody from your past and you're instantly pissed off, upset, the whole night's ruined, forget it, and you spiral down from there, okay? This this is something that needs healing. It's a it's a very negative trigger and that and again, it takes time. This wasn't created overnight. It won't heal overnight. Okay, but you're going to take a leap of faith here soon. Go off into the unknown. Maybe do a little exploring for some of you. Um, but you're taking a chance on something, a risk. Okay, and I think it's to follow your passion here. We have the Knight of Wands, this offer. You offering it or someone offering it to you. But uh, it's it's here in the, in the current situation. In the near future, you're in the current energies. This is all about a situation. You know what I mean. <laughs> Come on. Uh, all right, it's been a long day, Gemini's. All right. In the near future, you have the Three of Cups, the High Priest, and the Nine of Pentacles. So some of you could be in a relationship and there be a third party situation um, and the, you become single here and you kind of intuitively are aware of this. It's, it's almost as if it's divinely planned to be that way. For others, this is coming together with friends, going out, celebrating, having faith. Okay, having that connection with spirit and um, and looking damn good too, Gemini's. Okay, standing up in your own power, beautiful, uh, taking care of yourself. Okay, it's in the near future here. Heavenly Father, spirit guides, and angels, show me clearly some clarification for Gemini regarding this reading recent past, current, and near future energies. For Gemini, show me clearly. Clarification, recent past, current, and near future energies. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. We have the Emperor at the bottom of the card. Standing your ground. Standing in your power. Uh, King of Pentacles. Why is this here for Gemini's? King of Pentacles. Why is this here for Geminis? All right, we have justice. 
we have the seven of cups and we have the six of pentacles with the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck so um this could be a boss here uh, this king of pentacles and that because I'm reminded of the honoring path, you know doing something, you know, maybe to get ahead at work or whatever um, in that but uh, there's an energy here of uh, Justice, okay that that legal balance you could be dealing with a Libra um, you know give or take here but um you know there's options out here there's choices that were presented to you okay to to gain some balance okay to get out of a you know nickel and diming kind of energy a breadcrumbing energy because you deserve better there are options there for you those are the two messages i'm getting but you're really really in your head and not really listening to your intuition okay four of pentacles four of pentacles why is this here for gemini four of pentacles okay the fool card flipped itself over there just a second ago and um yeah that you know somebody's really taking that chance on something stepping into the unknown the four of pentacles why is this here for gemini all right three of wands the two of cups and the world okay so uh yeah holding back uh saving up you know making a decision to possibly travel something that's going to follow your passion maybe travel and go meet somebody here for uh marriage okay something um you know this is like a divine connection here a very important connection here and you're making a chance to go after it taking taking this new new cycle here for yourself nine of wands nine of wands show me clearly this is you know choosing what you deserve going after it show me the world here i mean excuse me nine of wands sorry all right again the five of swords here Okay, I'm going to put it back because it fell on the ground, but the five of swords, being upset about something, you know, maybe somebody chose, you know, to take off and go after somebody else. That's only going to be for a couple of you, but show me this nine of wands. Thank you. All right. We have the wheel of fortune, the two of swords and the king of cups. Okay. Uh, a loving person showing, um, you know action speaking louder than words you're you're very guarded and protected like i say here um but this person you're you're going for it here kind of blindly so you're 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 stuck uh in that but you're being pushed this wheel of fortune is turning and moving you forward five of swords the fool card yes the page of swords and the knight of swords very much in your head temperance again here at the bottom of the deck uh you're very much in your in your head okay um very much overthinking things but you're ready to take action possibly spying on somebody social media or being spied upon okay but going off and you know very carefree you know uh just just going off not really putting a lot of thought it's it you're just following your passion okay going off with your little bag and you know after possibly some love okay let's see the shadow side here but you, again very guarded ready to cut out anything that hurts you okay one side of the gemini the other side is the side is like tra -la, 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 la la you know just skip it along shadow side the empress again enlightenment here the hierophant okay a higher connection we have the queen of wands 
at the bottom of the deck and the six of cups here so a possible reconciliation with somebody from the past someone returning okay but wanting to offer and share this love with somebody wanting to have this equal give and take of love okay again being very um very connected with this person okay spiritually so even uh the empress uh some of you could even be becoming a parent currently here or realizing this and then wanting to offer this cup and taking this leap of faith okay um yeah, but very abundant and, and again, very intuitive. That crown is lit up, okay? Uh, the Fool. Why is the Fool here for Gemini? Show me clearly. Yes, we have the Three of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So, uh, having taken this chance on this King of Cups back here, all right, there was possibly some heartbreak, okay? There was possibly some heartbreak here, recovering from that heartbreak and, and wanting to make this offer, but it, it's, it's not really going anywhere. There's not any true movement with the Seven of Pentacles because that's a, you know, should I stay or should I go? That's having worked and put the effort in for a long time, but should I stay or should I go because nothing's really moving, okay? But there is a victory here coming. Knight of Wands, why is the Knight of Wands here for Gemini? Yeah, feeling burdened about that love not coming in. Still guarded, saving, waiting, holding back. Holding back on offering what is precious to you. Okay, we have the, the Ten of Wands, the Four of uh, Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, um, you're, you're very burdened by the, the actions taken here. Okay, you want to end this, but yet you're still guarded. You're so back and forth. Okay. Yeah, there's been a lot of heartbreak here. But we had the two of pentacles making that choice, you know. There might there could be two people that you're choosing to um to share your life with here, okay? Which is going to bring you balance. This decision is going to bring you balance, but you're going to get communication here. Something's coming in. Let's see. Three of Cups. Three of Cups. Show me clearly. Yep. Two of Pentacles, the Magician, and um, the Eight of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles here. Uh, again, um, finding that decision that to brings you balance here, you know, wanting that celebration, that happiness, you've been manifesting it, and messages are beginning to arrive here, okay? Possible long-term commitment that's taking forever back here, okay? Uh, we have the death card here. Some of you could decide to end it, okay? An ending brings a new beginning, okay? But there's this tower moment moment this the where you realize oh crap that thing that I worked so hard at for so long isn't what it was I needed okay this is my this is my happily ever after okay but this tower moment is like you know uh, if you're not going to pay attention the universe is going to send that lightning bolt and hit you right in the top of the head and knock your crown off okay it's going to rock your foundation, but then you're just going to be like, oh, that's why, you know, it's that type of a thing. Uh, why is the high priest here? Why is the high priest here? Okay, coming in is a challenge here. You're not really sure if you're accepting this cup. It came out sideways. There's there's this offer of this two of cups, 
okay this this cup of love here we have the two of cups we have the lovers here don't we i think i saw yeah yeah we have the lovers we have the two of cups this amazing connection and there's um the ace or me excuse me this offer from the divine okay coming in but you're focusing on the past here all this heartbreak you're not lifting your head to look at what is being handed to you divinely so yes okay we have the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck we have uh the four of cups um we have the five of cups and we have the king of swords I think you're going to begin to uh, recognize that you can move away from this depressive state. Instead of focusing on all these cups back here that spilt, you're going to recognize this one that's being divinely handed. You're going to recognize this two of cups that if you turn around and notice, you can move away from this depression over the bridge and to new happier abundance here okay the king of swords is here that's an energy of somebody who doesn't let anybody get in their way they go after what they want they go after their truth and they stand in it okay and um this could be you it could be uh your person you take it how it resonates but there's an offer being given here several times and you've manifested this okay you've been thinking about it it's whoever it is that's on your mind first thing in the morning last thing at night okay nine of pentacles show me clearly this is not an energy of somebody new nine of pentacles this could be a friend a co-worker somebody that's in your circle we have the ace of pentacles we have the death card and we have the tower card so there is no avoiding this okay this feeling of somebody being sneaky somebody getting away with something but i also get actually being strategic okay being strategic and working through their thoughts moving away from this eight of cups towards the nine of cups the wish fulfillment okay so they can have their rejoicing their celebration here all right with their king of wands this offer of love okay let's see here with the death card again <clears throat> This is uh, an ending for a new beginning, okay? The death card is very uh, negative looking here, the, the horse and rider. But the divine, this Pope-like figure, divinely is protecting this person here at the bottom, okay? They're telling them to halt, okay? So uh, it, it's not a, a negative ending here, okay? This is an aha moment. It's like, why, why did I have to wait so long for this? Why, you know, before I could accept this pentacle here? What is going on? Let me see. I want to pull one more card here for the Nine of Pentacles here because that's somebody standing really good in their own power. Okay. So let's see. We have the Chariot and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, it's just it's just a, a difficulty and we have the star card at the bottom of the deck it's just a difficulty in seeing all this abundance this overflowing opportunity it's difficult for you to be able to take action here okay that's they came out sideways as a challenge but you are doing it like i said the universe will push you forward uh whether you like it or not all right, Geminis, this is what I have for you. Before I close out, let me get you uh, any more advice or messages for Geminis, please. Any more advice or messages for Geminis? Show me clearly. You're very much in your head. Okay, very much in your head. You feel like you missed an opportunity, but it, if it's meant to be, it comes back around, okay? 
And I think that's what's happening here. This offer is, is coming back around. All right. Bottom of the deck, be assertive. Stand up for yourself, okay? Speak your truth. If you believe this to be true, it will happen for you. Take action, okay? Geminis, I hope this resonated. This is a wonderful healing energy that's happening here, okay? There is love, passion, great abundance here. You're, you're going to be this tower and this death card. It's not anything negative. It's going to literally be, oh my God, why did I wait so long? Okay? It's that type of an energy. But this, this abundant beginning is here for you, okay? in your near future all right um again uh if it resonated please like share subscribe and gemini's uh love and light to you this is a very heavy transition you're going through and i wish you the best all right till next time take care bye, -bye.